Hello, welcome back to another grocery haul. Today is Sunday. I'll try and get this one up today as well. Yesterday I popped to Aldi very briefly on a way back from visiting um, some family. So um, it was a tiny little grocery haul, but today is my main weekly shop. I mentioned yesterday on yesterday's video that I saved £30 because I got a discount code online. So I went to Ocado, I spent £100, I saved 30 because I saved 30% on my first shop with them. So this all came to £70. Now tell me if this is £70 worth of stuff. I'm not convinced. I did, however, also buy us some of this Fanta lemon. So this was 12 pound but because we get 30% off I thought we'll get it like in bulk like this we can stick this in the garage it'll keep cool for the next few weeks we do like a can of Fanta lemon every now and then so a 24 pack of Fanta lemon which was 12 pound which probably would have bought it up a little bit but still I still think this is not a lot for the money but let me share with you what I got I did get a free gift from Ocado I think because it's my first time shop there I got free delivery for three months, I think, or like three times. And then 30% 30 30 off, which totaled 30 pound. And then this um, tea towel here, which I thought was super cool. So a nice little tea towel there. And then I'll talk you through my grocery haul. I got a couple of household things as well to share with you. Basically two things. I got a pack of the Flash, the Strong and Thick Anti-Back Wipes. This will see me through now for a few weeks. And then I also picked up some of this. I've not tried this before. It's the Persil Ultimate Touch of Comfort um, Laundry det Detergent. And it is 34 washes. And it has a bit of a fragrance to it. So I'm actually going to smell it because I've not tried it before. Um, I don't know what this smells like. But, oh, that is delicious. <laughs> it smells so good. I'm really, like, picky about my laundry detergent. And I do like my clothes to smell nice. I mean, we wear perfume and aftershave you know, and obviously deodorant, <laughs> um, but I love the like, you know, as you wear your clothes and you can just have that hint of little Lenore and it's just lovely. So got this and then I'll talk you through the groceries. Oh, sorry. One more little household product, that toiletry thing. Um, this is the shaving foam for my husband, the Gillette thing. It was two quid, but obviously we're saving 30%. So I picked up two packs of the John West fridge pots. These are just the ones in brine but practically drained, so there's hardly any brine in there. Um, and my husband really likes tuna wraps. So I thought if I get two of these in the fridge, he may end up using two this week. We'll see. You know, we've got seven days ahead of us. Um, but if not, we can just keep them in the fridge and they'll last a little while. So two of those. And then he also really likes, I think this is a childhood thing for him, he really likes having this potted beef from Marks and Spencers. So obviously with Ocado, most of their stuff on there is Marks and Spencers. So you're able to get that at a good 30% off. I feel like we're winning this week with um, battling inflation and the grocery prices. So yeah, you get two of these little pots and I think they were about 150, something like that. Um, and he just has this on sandwiches, on bagels, things like that. So two pots of that for him. I also picked up these. Now, I got these before I went. I did my shop online there before I went to Aldi because I actually got a couple of breakfast bar things from Aldi. Um, so these will just stay in the cupboard now for the rest of the month and they'll last us right through till August. But I got the Kellogg's Nutrigrain Blueberry because I've not tried the blueberry ones. I've tried the Aldi blueberry ones of them and they are absolutely delicious. But I haven't tried the Kellogg's ones. So pick these up to try. And then because I'm very greedy, I also thought the chocolate one sounded delicious. And it is baked with wheat and rolled oats and it's got B vitamins and iron so practically healthy right I also <laughs> I'm joking I also got some um, flat leaf parsley which we add to meals I got a little dairy cheese spread I've got a little bit in the fridge but I thought if I just stock up on a small one well to be fair they didn't have a big one there they had this or the cheese triangle so I thought I'll just get one of the small ones here um, and have it in the fridge in case we want it on bagels we want it on wraps on sandwiches on toast dairy on toast is amazing so that's going to go in the fridge i'm also picking up some of this guana padana for tonight's dinner so this is just going to add to a carbonara and i've not tried this one before so i'm excited
excited to see what this one tastes like. This I forgot I brought, which is a bit of a splurge. This is not even a breakfast bite. It's a sugary treat, something like a chocolate or a sweet thing. Um, and yeah, that's just going to go straight in the cupboard. It's a white chocolate rice crispy treat. So a bit of a snacky splurge there. I did restock on the crisps because they were on offer. So they were three for four pounds, but we got the 30% off. So I got quite a lot of crisps for lunches for the both of us, for work and just for snacks and stuff. So my husband, I asked him to pick three because his was on the three for the offer. And then I like mini cheddars with the red Leicester. So he decided to get salt and shake ones. So these will last him like for the rest of the month. So salt and shake ones, um, a six bag of Monster Munch, the pickled onion. He loves those. And then a ready salted French fries. So they're for him over the next few weeks. And then I got some of the mini cheddars with the red Leicester flavour. I also got some wafer thin chicken breast just for sandwiches and to keep in the fridge. And then I picked up a bag of this Italian style salad. So we were thinking this is going to be a side dish to a pasta that we are going to make. Um, we last week we had this, we tried a new pasta with some pesto and we usually have like a flatbread with it. So we do like double carbs and we we'll obviously try not to do that anymore. So last week we had a side salad with it and we had a smaller amount of pasta as well. We like downsized the portion size and it was really nice and filling and it was quite fresh to have a bit of a side salad with the pasta. So got that for that. I also got some spring onions. We'll use some of them tonight. The rest I'll top on that side salad. I picked up a pack of the M&S Gouda. I've tried many Goudas, and I quite like the Aldi one, to be fair, or the Tesco one. It's not bad at all, but this one is just delicious. It tastes so nice. So I got one of those, and then I got some pears because I fancied some pears, and I thought these looked delicious on the website. Obviously, you can't really see them just from like the uh, laptop scrolling down, but they looked delicious, and they do now look delicious in front of me. So I got some pears for the fruit bowl, and then my husband picked up three for eight pound I think or nine pound I think nine pound um, these were and they're just for him to take to work or just to have when he gets home if he doesn't want something I'm cooking so I got the macaroni cheese and the four cheese ravioli and I picked up the spaghetti carbonara for him as well so he's got three meals there I got a bag of the grated mozzarella that's just going to go in the fridge it's the tiniest bag in the world but it's just what they had so I picked up that and then I got some oranges. These are just the, well, they're meant to be like mini clementines, but I think they've given me the big ones, which is fine. So I got a bag of oranges. I also got some prosciutto. This was on the three for eight with the turkey slices and the prosciutto and the bacon. So I got some of that for us to have with pasta. I got a big cucumber. I got a parsley sauce because in my freezer, I've got a parcel thing from Aldi. So it's like asparagus asparagus chicken i think maybe um and something else inside the parcels and they're just like little puff pastry things and i figured i've got mashed potato in the freezer and i've got some vegetables in the freezer i've definitely got green beans so i figured we could have the asparagus like parcels with some parsley sauce and um mashed potato and then some vegetables and that would be quite a nice dinner so i saw this and i thought we'd definitely have this if not i do actually have some fish cakes in the freezer so maybe I could use it for this instead but I would like to get rid of those asparagus parcels and have them soon because they've been in the freezer for about two weeks now and I want to make sure that we eat them so picked up this for that never tried this one before either from Mark's but I'm sure it's going to be delicious on the three for eight for the meats I also got this pancetta we'll use a pack of this tonight I'll keep a pack in the fridge and I might keep a pack for a pasta dish later on in the week I only want to have two pasta dishes this week for dinner because because otherwise we'll just be eating pasta all week because it's easy, it's simple, and it's just really quick to cook. But I want to kind of get away from that. So I'll save one and then we'll use one for tonight. I also got two clementine juices. These are the Marks and Spencer's clementine. They are so delicious if you've never tried them. They, I mean, I prefer the Tesco clementine juice 
like more than this one but this is as a backup is just very tasty so i got two of those for the fridge and i also picked up some mild cheddar this was really expensive i think it was like four pounds something but we did get 30 percent off so i thought we'll get it in the fridge now at this price and we save a bit of money and it is a massive block of cheese it's 550 grams they had a pound off on the red diamond strawberries i've tried these before and i paid full price for them before i think they're like four pound maybe um, and they were delicious. It was so, so tasty. So I figured I'll have them again because I'm getting 30% off. So I picked up a punnet of those. I also got some cherry tomatoes. We'll have some of these for the side salad. And then I mentioned earlier about the pasta dish for the other like, side of the week. So at the end of the week because I just want to have two. And what I might do is nip to go and get some borsin, because I've seen a few TikToks where you do the pasta with some borsin, which is basically like garlic, garlic and herb cheese, and add cherry tomatoes in it, and then a bit of pancetta, and we'll call that dinner, and it sounds delicious. So I've got some of those. I also got some big oranges. I was expecting little mini clementines with those, but I got some big ones, because I just fancied them. I've not had big oranges for ages. So I got a four pack of those. I got the extra thick bread. Now, my husband loves this with toast. It's really hard sometimes to find the extra thick. Obviously, the slices are like this big. Um, but for toast in the morning, he loves it. So picked up a loaf of that. I also got some of these eggs. So these are the Sent You Blue Organic Eggs. Um, and I think they were like the three pound. They were one of the cheapest ones on there because they were marked down. I also got some pea shoots and baby leaves just to add for meals. And then over here... I picked up some plain folded flatbreads. We've got chicken in the freezer, crispy chicken. And I've also got some tzatziki and I've got cucumbers and tomatoes and spring onion. So I figured we could do like loaded flatbreads with the crispy chicken. Sometimes we use halloumi with this, but I'm totally out of halloumi and I didn't bite this week. So flatbreads for that. I'm whizzing through this, aren't I? I need to slow down. <laughs> I also got two bags of pasta. I've not tried this brand before, but I liked the shapes. Look how super cute these little shapes are. They're just like mini little tubes. So I got two bags of pasta. We went for this one and we went for this one. And then I also saw this. Now this, I don't have plans for this week. It is just a macaroni and cheese boxed meal. Um, I'm pretty sure you just add milk. I've not used it before, but I think you'll probably just add milk or something. But yeah, I plan to just keep this in the cupboard and maybe at the weekend, or we do have burgers on the meal plan this week. So there's burgers in the freezer, which I need to use up from Aldi like three weeks ago. And I've got burger buns in the cupboard. So we were gonna have burgers this week. So maybe I could have the macaroni cheese next to the burgers as a bit of a side dish, but I'll see. If not, I'll just keep it in the cupboard and we'll have it on hand. So that is everything except the Fanta lemon, which I've just showed you, of what I picked up this week from um, Ocado. I think because I got the 30% off, I saved quite a lot of money, but next time I probably won't go back <laughs> to Ocado. It was quite expensive looking at the full prices. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with the savings I made and I'm very happy with the total cost of £70. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what I brought. Thanks again for the support and sub subscribing and liking the videos. I really appreciate it. I'll do a grocery haul next week. I don't really have many like haul videos planned over the next couple of weeks just because I'm not going to home bargains or B&M I'm saving a bit of money this month um we've got like a holiday and stuff next month so I don't want to just overspend for the sake of it so the next couple of weeks you'll probably just see grocery haul videos every week going up um and then while like I'm because I started a new job last week I need to like settle down into my new routine and then I'll pick up the videos again and we'll film like in shops and stuff and things like that going forward but for the next few weeks it will just be grocery hauls and i hope that that is okay have a great rest of the week thanks for watching and i'll see you soon take care bye